Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another Octagon analysis and this video I'm gonna be taking on Ronda Rousey. Now we all know that Ronda Rousey had an illustrious career in both judo and MMA. She won a bronze medal in the Olympic Games of Beijing back in 2008 and also won the UFC uh, championship and today we're gonna see what made her so successful the arsenal of techniques used in the octagon that made her so lethal and tapping out multiple people but we're gonna also see the throws that took her to the ground in order to get that tap and winning so let's begin So first we start with a very basic judo technique which is the kezagatame or the hon kezagatame in this particular scenario followed with a jujigatame the armbar again judo basics that will take you a very long way first is the hon kezagatame let's check it out basically meaning the scarf hold uh, where you wrap the head and pin the arm and then you just use your weight and leverage in order to not let them escape it is a very basic judo pin uh, people learn it as children uh, but yet here we can find it very effective in the mma world uh, it's very rarely used in jiu-jitsu as well which is uh, makes me curious for some reason but we can use it for a very offensive standpoint for example the ground and pound like ronda rousey or also you can use it as a choke like an arm triangle you can also use it as an arm bar position where you put the elbow on your resting thigh on the ground and then you pin with the other leg the wrist which creates like an arm lever and here you can see you can have different grips you can wrap the head you can use the collar uh, you can always switch to kind of like a side control position uh, in order to hold them down here as you can see but it's all still considered Kezagatame. Again, the basics will take you a very long way. And the Ronda Rousey signature, which is the armbar. Uh, again, the Udehishigi Shujigatame, a judo classic. Very effective and also incredibly devastating and uh, mortal technique being used. You can get it from anywhere side control, mount, uh, guard, all that stuff. It is a judo classic, uh, Ronda Rousey clearly mastered it, destroyed a lot of people with it, getting the tap multiple times. So again, the Kezagatame and the Jujigatame uh, as techniques to start off, see how the basics in judo will take you a long way. So as you can see, the clinch, everything that uh, Ronda uses is clearly judo, it's not like uh, voice or Khabib it is different even the most basic of holds she used it in the octagon which shows how effective judo can be uh, in any context you might uh, put it in so here again you have the uh, the hip tosses here the harai goshi again another armbar against Misha Tate uh, you can see that she has a lot of upper body clinch so different to Khabib and Hoyce uh, here spin out armbar this is, we call it now the Ronda Rousey variation so the first one we're gonna talk is the hip toss or the Ogoshi uh, it's very good throw for women as Kayla Harrison puts it because uh, women has like for proportion standpoint their hips are first of all they're lower and also they are wider which can be very usefully used in order to load someone on them and achieving the throw. Uh, no gi needed. Uh, you can do it just naked and also get a very successful ogoshi. You don't need to do a lot of uh, differences in order to get it without the gi. Uh, basically, the kuzushi is with the upper body clinch, uh, the, uh, like an underhook, overhook. Uh, etc so again a very classical piece of judo the hip toss uh, in general terms or the ogoshi if you want to be very precise in terms of terminology again ronda uses it uh, the basics very effective and they will indeed take you a very long way the ogoshi so 
Whenever someone thinks of judo, they think of hip toss and armbar and the scarf fold. So again, Ronda demonstrating them. Here we have the Uchimata, the inner thigh reap. Again, coming from the upper body clinch. Uh, one of the greatest throws in judo. No gi needed as Bas Rutin puts it. Uh, here again, the Uchimata. I, sh I showed it in my Fedor uh, video. If anyone knows judo and goes for the octagon, they will indeed use Uchimata, inner thigh reap, very, they ha it has a large amount of variations to it. Here you can just stab with your foot and lift your opponent up. Uh, and with the clinch, it becomes even easier because you don't need to pull on the gi and create like an imbalance because as you are hugging or clinching and you go down, you immediately destroy their balance forward and you all have to do is reap uh, with the inner thigh and just uh, create the takedown that's all you need to do so that's why in judo the clinch is somewhat forbidden or you, it, you have limited time in order to get it because once you clinch it's very easy to uh, create the ippon or the takedown so that's why it is forbidden it's not because uh, they don't want you to like they want to hold the sports back like in other uh, types of rules here you can have it like a spinning variation you spin on your heel and you use the momentum of the spin in order to get the uchimata as you pull uh, the sleeve and the lapel and you reap the inner thigh so again uchimata classical piece of judo uh, any judoka who goes into the octagon fedor ronda any other they will use the uchimata for sure because of its effectiveness and also the surprise effect, uh, surprising factor of it, reaping between the legs and lifting up and getting the takedown landing in mount or the worst case scenario, like a deep uh, half guard. So the Uchimata inner thigh reap, a classical piece of judo being demonstrated here, both in judo, like here is an Uchigari opening turned into Uchimata. Kosei Inoue had uh, an uchimata similar to this one here like you pull and then once they are on their knees it's very easy to get the uchimata let's see it again so here they go down on their knees or like one knee it's still considered uh standing here is the uh this is uh, another analysis video done by uh, i believe fight tips and it says it's Tanya, it's uh, Tayotoshi, it was actually Harai Goshi. I showed it in my uh, Fedor video. The Harai Goshi is different from the Tayotoshi. We're gonna see the Tayotoshi in another example of Ronda. Um, the Harai Goshi means the sweeping hips. It is a very also effective throw of judo where you lift someone on your hips and sweep with the leg backward in order to have their legs collapsing on each other and basically uh, kill all sorts of resistance to them here you can see it and uh, you just lift them with the hips sweep the leg backwards destroy the balance of the legs and make them collapse on each other and they will spin out and fall to the ground effortlessly again a very effective piece of judo the sweeping hips different from the ogoshi uh, the ogoshi where you just load someone on your hips and push with the knees upwards in order to create like a lever and put them on the ground here it's different you lift with the hips sweep the leg and kill any resistance by the legs of your opponent here a spinning variation like the uchimata but uh, on the outside here the kochigari which is the minor inner reap a very classical sweep very effective again uh, credits to fight tips for putting uh, like a, this a little bit of detailed video uh, Khabib used this one also he used it against Al Aquinta when his single leg takedown uh, failed so as you can see it shows the background of their discipline for example Khabib was holding the leg going for the takedown shooting on the legs like a typical wrestler however Ronda Rousey gets it from the upper body clinch um, a judoka will always go for the do to dominate the posture and the upper body and then goes for their sweeps different than a wrestler we saw this with Fedor when he was doing the major in a reap here we see Ronda doing uh, like an upper body clinch and then going for the kochigari here you can see you can clip the foot not just a sweep uh, the ankle 
uh, it has many variations uh, like a lot of judo techniques uh, it has a lot of variations so as you can see uh, the gi is not so much needed as people claim to be whether it is street fight octagon etc once you establish that deep contact in the upper body region uh, you can just sweep away or load on the hips or do uchimata whatever you want to do uh, here is the kosoto gake i showed it again in my fedor video in my hoist video in my kabib video it is a common common takedown in everyone who's good in takedowns in the octagon shows how effective that takedown is that everyone resorts to it uh, two fight tips this is the tayotoshi you use your leg as a barrage and then you load you drop them using either this uh, the sleeve or uh, here you can use the wrist here's the tayotoshi different from the harai goshi as you showed you use your foot as like a block and then you use your hands in order to take their posture down you can use a uh, collar grips a cross collar grip you can you only use the sleeve uh, many variations to it uh, it's a teiwaza or a hand technique you only use your foot as like a block uh, it's not uh, like a sweep with the leg like the harai goshi so uh, i know judo terminology and technique can be a bit uh, how do you say complicated but once learned it is uh, very important for your uh, martial art culture or and also to understand the technique better here you can use both hands uh, and just draw use your foot as a block and in order to put them down so you need the hands uh, to create the Tai Otoshi it is a hand technique after all here it is a here people might mistake it for uh, Tai Otoshi for someone that doesn't know but this is actually Sode Tsurikomigoshi where you take the hand to the other side you cross it uh, use your hips and load them and put them down it is a uh, hip technique or a koshi waza uh, you need it's called sode which is sleeve uh, tsurikomi means lifting and pulling and goshi the hips so de tsurikomi goshi uh, you can grab the wrist you don't need to grab the sleeve in the case of ronda uh, rousey um, the perk of this episode is going into WWE and see more judo tosses uh, from Ronda Rousey. Uh, I know it's fake, but still it is a very good high caliber technique. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth analysis. If you have anything else to add, I will get to all of your suggestions when it comes to MMA and judo. Uh, I'm just going in order of the list. Again, if you have anything else to add as a commentary, uh, share it down below the comment section is wide open this was Shadi and thank you for again watching listening and interacting with me I truly appreciate it thank you for listening <laughs>